All right, welcome back to TCG Love, and today is round two of the booster box game for these Fallout collector booster boxes. And since we made the money back with the first one in my previous video, you will be getting more coins today. So uh, I tried to make it quicker this time, so the video isn't too long. And yeah, um, I in the last video I said you get 20% more coins if we make it, but I think um, I'm gonna just give you double, so you get today twice as many coins as usual. I think double is just more exciting <laughs> than 20% more coins. I think I can take it. The the um, the economy, the coin economy that we build up, can take it if we get more uh, bigger giveaways in the future. And speaking of giveaways, I'm gonna give away one of these collector booster boxes to you uh, in a month or so. It's gonna be the giveaway after I open all the Thunder Junction stuff. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, um, leave a comment to claim the coins here and keep claiming coins until the giveaway to um, increase your chances, to maximize your chances. And this booster box that I will be giving away got sponsored to me by Games Island. Thank you very much, Games Island, sponsor of this channel. They sent me free swag and I'm giving all that free swag to you. So if you guys want to support me and the channel, Check the affiliate link in the description to Games Island. Would really appreciate you guys um, checking it out. Maybe buy something there if you consider buying Magic the Gathering stuff. And it really helps out the channel get bigger giveaways. So thanks Games Island. And let's keep going with the booster box. I got Piper right here in the first one. And I'm gonna scan each card here with my scanner. And hopefully we will be getting 325 dollars in the end which is how much i paid for this box the price is already dropped the last one and uh, the last box that i opened in this booster box game made it but only barely not that much um, over the buying price so let's see if we can do it today as well and then if we hit 325 dollars um, with these cards here i will be uh, getting uh, giving you guys three times as many coins in the next one, in the next video. So the more booster box game rounds we win, the more coins you will be getting in the end. This is one that's extended art. Didn't really get a card yet above a dollar, so the total stays at zero. Nah, 53 cents. All right, now we get to the juicy stuff. So these ones should be worth something, right? I got these boxes cheaper, all right, $2.59. I will be putting cards that are above a dollar here. Um, what did I want to say? Yeah, I paid 325 bucks for these collector booster boxes, but currently they go for way more. This is a dollar. So I'm not sure if we got to hit 400 bucks, which is how much these go for currently, but uh, if we hit 300, I'm fine with it. But if you want to buy one of these boxes, you know, consider that uh, they go for more than they currently. Why is the scanner not focusing? You currently need to buy them for more than the cards in here are worth a dollar thirty. Sticky fingers. Search for here. Dollar. And we got the two Pip-Boy showcases in the end. Watchful Red Stack and Idolized. This one is worth a little bit, so that's nice. This one's $1.63 and Idolized and Foil should be a few bucks at least. No? A dollar for the Foil one. All right, that's less than I expected. We opened one pack, we got $5 worth of it, so that's not really good. That was a weak pack. Let's see if we can get something better in this one. We got a beautiful... Um, how's this perspective called again? I forgot. Um, yeah, whatever. Deadly Dispute. Oh, Deadly Dispute is worth something. Two bucks for the full version. Three dog. Shouldn't be worth anything. Spy of Industry. 21 cents. Strong. Uh, Electro Siphon, Extended Art, 11 cents, uh, Isolated Chapel, $1.23 over Cumbered, over Encumbered. This one is Foil, right? So Extended Art, 
four four dollars for this one. All right, and so for falls, these lands shouldn't be worth that much. Extended art, foil, wild wasteland, and search foil. I like the search foil on this one since I don't know it fits kind of with the UFO beam in the back. I think. Three bucks, wind brisk heights. Isometric, there we go. <laughs> I was quietly thinking what the what the word is. It's isometric. Oh, oh. Uh, so this is these lands are an homage to the isometric perspective of the old Fallout games. There we go. I knew it was something with I. My luck queen. And Search for a dollar twenty nine, and now we get the Pip Boy versions again. Specimen and the Soltron. All right, this one shouldn't be worth about a dollar. Yeah, forty three cents. This one should be thirteen bucks. All right, a Soltron is worth thirteen bucks in foil. Nice. Not search foil. I oh guys, I have to tell you, I pulled in my last video a uh, Wise Mothman search foil Pip Boy version, right? That one goes for $130 on card market. I don't know what we scan it for. Actually, I didn't double check on the video. But that's insane. I, I, I'm 100% sure we didn't scan for 130 bucks on the scanner. Otherwise, I would have sought it. But holy crap, 130 bucks for a search foil. Wise Mothman in this Pip-Boy showcase. And that's the most expensive Pip-Boy showcase that you can get. I didn't realize when I pulled it. All the other ones are like 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and Wise Mothman goes for 130 for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. I put it up for that much since um, all the other ones were worth that much, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to sell it at that point, uh, at that price point. Thrill Kill Disciple. Uh, extended art. 11 cents. Steel Overseer. And then we still didn't get a serialized bobblehead. I wish, I, I, I'm hoping that I will be still getting one in the, in the other boxes that I still have, Marshall's Anthem. And by the way, this booster box game is gonna keep going if, even if I run out of boxes, right? So if we make it with my fourth box, if after four, uh, around four, I still make my money back, I will be getting a new box I'll just go to my LGS and get a new box and keep going. At that point, I think I will have to overpay by a lot. So I think round five is where it ends, but that's my plan basically. Three bucks 96. And oh, we got some Vault Boy showcases there. Kind of got excited for no reason. Uh, 76 cents. We got Farewell, which is a collector booster exclusive card. You will not get this card in the in the pre-cons, and we got Watchful Red Stack and Searchful. That one's also 20 bucks, so that's nice. Farewell, eight bucks, nice. Watchful Red Stack and search foil. Oops. 13 bucks, all right. Not quite 20, but not too bad either. I'm not gonna complain. Um, and I didn't really explain the booster box game in the beginning of the video. I just assumed everybody knows how it goes, but Booster box game is basically you open a box, if you make more money from the cards inside than you paid for the box, you open another box and then you keep going like that. And I also didn't explain really about the coins, but basically just leave a comment, you get coins added to your wallet automatically. I will be using a scraper to scrape through all the comments. Give all you guys your deserved coins. And then by the end, when I'm gonna do the giveaway, the more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning something in the giveaway. So maybe not going to be many cards, maybe not going to be expensive cards, but you get your chances are basically higher if you have more coins. You can check my last giveaway for reference. Send it out for Mr. Gutsy. No, it's Scottsworth. A lethal scheme. Extended art. Uh, there's the Mona. Standard oil, 42 cents. And the app that I'm using to scan is called Manabox. If anybody's interested, download that as well. 
I already mentioned everything, right? 43 cents. Animal friend and search foil. Sixty-eight cents. Temple of Epiphany. Oh man, bubblehead, but it's not serialized. Ninety-one cents for this one. Ka uh, Charisma bubblehead and search for this one should be also at least five bucks, right? Oh, nuclear fallout. Damn. Search for Kajing, five bucks. And we got nuclear fallout in this beautiful Pip Boy show uh, showcase. This artwork is awesome as well. It's a little dog. Is the dog holding Nuka Cola on it? Does the dog have thumbs? Why is the dog holding Nuka Cola? I don't get it. Either way, nuclear fallout. Oh, what? Screeching Scorch Beast? Is that how it looks? Is that the first time we pull this? I remember it looking differently. 434. And we got Screeching Scorch Beast in this showcase in foil. Two or something? No, below a dollar. All right, at least I can keep it for my collection. And I'll be keeping all the cards below a dollar and pimp out my pre-cons that I kept with those. Maybe I'm gonna showcase it in the last video how my pimped out pre-cons look in the end. Not gonna be that fancy. I did the same with Doctor Who. It didn't end up being <laughs> as fancy as I expected it to be, as I imagined it. Also pretty cool, abundant. Going pretty fast for these packs i like it synth eradicator i need to hurry up opening all these packs i think i'm gonna just open them all at least today or tomorrow and then upload the videos over the coming days because i really need to sell all these cards to make the money back for paypal ah, paypal needs money from me helios one for anybody who doesn't know i use paypal's pay in 30 days thing <laughs> to buy all these products and then I sell the cards <laughs> in order to pay back PayPal. That's basically how I hustle, uh, hustle that stuff. I respect the hustle. All right, two bucks. Rose Cutthroat Raider. Two bucks. Solemn Simulacrum. Beautiful Ada. Artwork there on this one. I like this card. It's this card's artwork. One dollar automated assembly line search foil. Dollar twenty heroic intervention search foil. Diamond City is also worth a bit, I think. Whoa, this one is quite valuable. Seven bucks fifty for heroic intervention. Diamond City. Two bucks. All right. Synth infiltrator and. Inventory management. This card is cool. I'll definitely keep one of these. I'm not sure if I keep the foil one or the non foil one. What's up with the camera here? 11 cents for infiltrator and inventory management and foil. Oh, yeah, I didn't scan. I don't know why the scanner doesn't pick this up, but it was like three bucks. So, in the end, I'm gonna add three bucks if it makes a difference for the coins. Or for the booster box game, of course. Junk Jet. I'll put this card to the side, so I'm gonna look it up in the end to make sure. Sense, inventory management. Three bucks. Uh, Todd Vessel. Two for Sense. Arcane Signet. Eleven cents. Preston Garvey, Minute Man, excellent art. This is a good card. This is a good commander. Sixty-five cents. Temple of Plenty, excellent art. There you go. Sixteen cents. Feral Ghoul. I like the artwork on this one as well. Extended art. Four ounce, three bucks. Canopy Vista. Sorry for the scanner always bubbling around here. 97 cents. Strong bag. That one is worth quite a bit. Especially excellent art search foil. Five bucks. All right. Hinterland Harbor. Two 
three bucks. Armory Paladin. And we got an Arcane Signet I already saw. Two bucks. And Secretio Squadron and Foil Arcane Signet. I like this artwork as well here. Mm, I like this one. Uh, I wonder, are, do you get these Fallout cards in Search Foil as well? Only five bucks for Arcane Signet, man. That's a steal. I would buy one of these. Are these Fallout cards, do they exist in Search Foil? I hope it's interesting. I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. I didn't see it on Card Market. But why not though? They should put it. Should have put it in Search Foil as well. Gary Clone. Alright, Sun Scorched Divide. Dollar 62, Synth Infiltrator. I guess this one's worth nothing since the Pip Boy version was worth nothing. Oh, this was above a dollar, right? Mm, dollar 90. Uh, Eldam R for Maxim. Scan is really fast now, I don't know. The phone kind of sped up. Irrigated farmland. I actually just sent that phone back. Well, I will be sending it back. I bought it on Amazon because my sister is going to get a, a new iPhone. She's going to give me her old phone. So I was like, eh, maybe I can send my phone back that I just bought recently just for the scanner. But now it seems really fast. <laughs> I don't even know if I have to send it back. Anyway, her phone is better than, better than this one, so... 76 cents, Prairie Stream. Ninety cents, Assemble the Legion, Search Foil, and... Some Pit Boy Showcase, it's nothing special. Four cents, Caesar, and Atomize and Foil. This one's worth nothing. Come on, we need something cool. $1.68. All right, how many packs left? Five packs left. We need a bubblehead, serialized, or Ravages of War in foil, please. We pulled a Ravages of War uh, in every collector booster box till now. So I am interested, I'm curious if we're gonna keep up that, the odds of of that, that statistic. I think I already see some Fallout uh, showcases there. Fall, Fallout Boy, no, Vault Boy, sorry. Vault Boy artwork. Eight bucks for Talisman of Progress and search for them. Purify, normal file. Lily Bowen, extended art. 10 cents. Exotic Orchard. And art. The Mother Load Excavator. I don't remember this thing from Fallout 3 or 4. Maybe it's from an older Fallout. Alright, Clifftop Retreat. No Fallout. 94 cents. Uh, Ferris Lake. Search for standard, two bucks. Stolen strategy. Sixty-two cents. Temple of mystery, and we got ravages of foil and foil. There we go. <laughs> Just said it. But why did um, <laughs> we got the ravages of foil, the most expensive card, except for the bubble heads, I think, in foil. So that's awesome. Got the Ravages of War in every booster box. And we got Wasteland, of course, as well. 20 bucks. Not gonna sleep on that one. Ravages of War. Kaching, 24 bucks. Alright, not that much actually. I thought it's gonna be 50. I guess it drops that often for everybody. So the supply increases a little bit. Mountain. Alright, Treasure Vault. So 61, Captain of the Watch. What else? 
o qué es? ¿Eh? ¿What? Bueno, search for natural history. 62 cents. Silver Bluff Bridge. No foil. If, you're gonna, uh, if you guys wanna see me sell these cards, uh, check out my Google Sheet. I know the Google Sheet is not up to date very often. I'm really lacking behind on that one, but I think by the time I upload this video, it's gonna be up to date. And there you can see... Oh, this is not foil. And there you can see how much I actually sell these cards for, how much I actually put them up on card market, and when they sell, how much I sold them for. Nine cents, rampaging Yao Guai. If you click the link to my Google Sheet, you first see an overview, and then if you click the product itself, it's a link, there you get a more detailed list of all the cards that I pulled, and etc. etc. All the data. I'm collecting all the data for you guys, you can always reference how much a product is worth in my Google Sheet. Anyone sense? Cliff dot retreat. We got another talisman. Is this gonna be as well? How much was it? 10 bucks more. This one's dollar 44. Talisman of creativity in search for oh Nuka Cola vending machine. Actually, I think Nuka Cola vending machine might be the most expensive one. Two bucks for this one. Uh, West Tech Tyrant, this one is worth nothing. So we got one Pip Boy showcase and one uh, Vault Boy artwork in one pack. Nuka Cola vending machine, I think this one uh, rose in price quite a bit and might be now the most expensive one. So if it's more than 25 bucks, it's better than Ravages of War, even though it's uh, uncommon. Right, is there something weird there? Create a food token whenever you sacrifice food, uh, create a tab treasure token. Touching. No, it's not 25 bucks, it's 18 bucks. So good. All right, we had 214. It's gonna be really close. We need really big pulls here from the last, from these last two packs, uh, three packs. So I'm not sure if you're gonna make it actually. It would be sad. But you will get twice as many coins from this video regardless. And I still will have two boxes left that I will be opening either way. So maybe I just restart the booster box game with those boxes. But, of course, not with a multiplier to the coins. Don't know what to do else with these boxes. Can't compare them with anything anymore. Oh, I also still have all these sample packs from the precons that I will be opening in the video. Then we will get an average price, uh, average value of sample packs. How much is a sample pack on average? You get these sample packs in the precons, by the way, so... It would be quite, uh, I guess, interesting to know how much value is in those. Wasteland Raider. Standard. Some sense. Shadow Blood Rich. Twenty four cents. Boomer Scrapper. Scraper. 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 Twenty three cents. Temple of the Sea. Pip Boy three thousand. Uh, three thousand in search for this one is probably worth quite a bit. Fifty four cents. Pip Boy three thousand. Standard art search for must be worth quite a bit, right? Twelve bucks ninety. That's not bad. Marshall Koo. Standard art search for no twenty four cents. Uh, Runes ultimatum. Oh, this one's worth something, right? Four bucks sixty seven. Mysterious stranger and prime mylock queen. Some of these Pip Boy showcases are also exclusive to collector booster boxes. For example, this one, because it's a reprint of Hullbreaker Horror, which is not in the precons. 2.93. All right. Two packs left, and we still need to make $85. We need $325 with this one. Oh, it's gonna be close. Swamp. It's gonna be hard actually. It's, uh, we're a little bit behind. Unless we pull Search Foil Wise Mothman or a Bobblehead. I think that might be the end for the Booster Box game. The price for these cards really dropped quite fast though. 16 cents, Feral Ghoul. Two bucks. Liberty Prime Recharge Extended Art. 
I sell a lot of these cards from my precon, so it might be worth something. Standard art? Nope, 74 cents. Time is tracker. Four cents, junk jet. Thirty-six cents, guardian project. All right, maybe that one. There we go. Standard arch foil, four dollars eighty-seven. Nice. Nick Valentine private eye. Standard search for six nine cents. Farm um, uh, harmonica. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that in any way correctly. Three bucks twenty-three. Boomer Scrapper and Search File. Alright, dollar. And we got Vandal Blast and The Wise Movement in normal foil. If the Search Foil is 130 bucks, I expect this movement to be at least 10 bucks. Three bucks for Vandal Blast and The Wise Movement in foil. Worth something? Three bucks. Alright. <laughs> and the last pack which needs to make. 65 bucks. All right, can we do it? 65 bucks. Get our land here. Mechanized production. It's the only mythic, this one, except for the face commanders. For some reason, there's only one mythic in the whole precons. Tainted field. Three bucks. Single combat. Two cents. Endurance bobblehead. 65 cents, infesting red roach, 28 cents, Mr. Gutsy, standard art, $1.84, Temple of Malice, $0.22, cents. Curie, Emergent Intelligence, Dollar sixty-two Shadow Blood Rich, and now to the last pile that uh, can maybe save us. Helios One Search Fall. Dollar sure Exotic Orchard. All these lands now. We would have gotten something else except these lands. Temple of Malice. And we got a soul ring, I think, in the end there. 89 cents and uh, 91 cents. Dr. Madison Lee and a soul ring and foil. Also beautiful. Got some beef with the artwork. Check my last video if you want to know what beef I got. Well, you're not gonna, ch you're not gonna check one video just to know what beef I have with this artwork. Basically, the fall of uh, the Vault Boy is in the way. This should be centered. The vault boy should be just a drawing on the uh, on the vault door. It shouldn't be that present. It ruins it. I think it would be beautiful if it, the vault door would be just centered. 18 bucks for that one. If the vault door would be just centered, this vault boy could be just a drawing on it or, I don't know, like with the arcane signet, you don't have a vault boy, you just have him inside the pip boy. So it could as well be just a face on the door or something. I guess he needs to be in every artwork for these uh, Vault Boy showcases, but yeah, this should be centered. Would be beautiful, sorry. Either way, um, we hit two hundred and ninety dollars. Plus, this one is not gonna make a difference for anything. Let me double check. Maybe this one rolls two hundred dollars each or something. Inventory. What is it? Management. Inventory management showcase foil. It's a dollar ninety-five. If I sell it in Germany, it's two bucks to thirty. So this one not gonna make a difference, neither for coins nor for the booster box game. And I guess that's it. That was round two and the last round for the booster box game. Unfortunately, I'm a little disappointed. I think I thought I, I hoped at least that we would make another round. The last one was already close and the price has dropped quite a bit, so I'm not too surprised. Uh, but you got twice as many coins from this video, so you got 
58, 58 points today. So that's pretty nice. And uh, we would have got three times as many the next video if I would have made it. But maybe I'll just restart the booster box game of the last two boosters. I guess since we lost now, I'm not gonna buy a third booster uh, box, a third collector booster box if I make it with the last one. Since we lost now, it would be kind of like, oh man, I just randomly got my money's worth on the last box and now uh, I need to buy another box. I can't do that. Uh, let's keep it simple. I'm already way out of um, manpower to sell all these cards. Buying 12 sets of precons was really a mistake because I am really just wasting, I'm spending so much time selling those cards. It's insane. It's really taking over my days. Um, I'm probably not gonna keep doing that. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. I think tomorrow I will be uploading a video with the collector booster box sample packs. And then we're gonna open the last two booster boxes and then that's it until Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Then we're gonna open some Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I will be getting more stuff from my sponsor for that set. A collector booster box for sure, plus maybe a play booster box or something like that. And then we got a collector booster box for Thunder Junction, a collector booster box for Fallout and something else. And then still the cards that are unclaimed from the last giveaway for that giveaway. And that's going to be a big giveaway. So I hope you guys claim as many coins as you can until then. Just keep commenting under the videos to claim coins. You have time to claim the coins until the next video is uploaded. If you uh, comment too late, if you if you check the date when this video is uploaded, if you're already um, too late, then you're probably not going to get, the, well, you're not going to get the coins on your wallet. Um, just so you guys know. And... Yeah, subscribe to the channel, would really appreciate it, and like the video, and yeah, see you next time, I hope you enjoyed this, peace out guys, have a good day.